welcome back to another video on my channel. Today I'm back at Fort Park. I am. Already done two rides of Saw. First one I saw today and also Colossus. Now going on the third look because it looks like there's no queue. It does. It looks very dead today. Hopefully I came out a lot, hopefully. So after having an amazing ride on Inferno and obviously saw in Colossus, going over to Stealth to have a ride on that. Maybe give Run Graph a go a little bit after, but I might go swarm straight after, so I can definitely go on that, alright? I might do some off-road videos of Stealth, but who knows? So we are still in the first hour of the park being open, and we're about to do our fifth ride, and it's actually the last of the big five. We're doing swarm. I don't know how I've managed to do all big five in the first hour. It's amazing, it's so quiet here today at Fort. So after having one amazing ride on the swarm, I'm going for a level of one. Because there's no queue, I'm going for Devil Wing this time. So hopefully it should be good. No queue at all. I mean it's walk on. I went closest wing so when you go over the first when you get the hang time at the very top of the lift hill I was at the highest point so it's very really good so intense as well such a good being then wing coaster the only one in this country hopefully get a few more I'm in the queue now so I'll either show you some more fire footage or see you next ride which might be this one again so after having an amazing ride on depth charge sorry if I that footage got cut up short because of the music they play. Unfortunately, it's not theme and music, it's actual songs which I can't show. I'm going on Zodiac, which you can't see because it's not on its cycle yet. Might give Rush a go, should give Rush a go, then give Quantum and Vortex maybe. If not, I might go back to Sword. So we're going over towards Saw Colossus Samurai area. Going to try and go on Samurai because it has been closed a lot this week. It has been down for a lot of technical issues this week. But it is up today. Hopefully it's not a long queue. And maybe I might try and go on Colossus again. Saw again maybe. No, that's Saw alive. That's Saw. I was the first one on Saw today actually. I was. Obviously we have Saw Alive here. Always say it. Just get rid of it. Yeah. Storm Surge isn't running today. It is, oh, it is allowed to operate, but it's not running today. I might give Colossus a miss at the moment. It's quite big for you. I can, I'll tell you what I go on next. So obviously over here we've got Black Bear again, as I showed you last time. Earlier when I went on Saw, I think I showed you in a bit in a bit of a video. Someone by the entrance of Black Mirror down there. Can't really see it, but it's over down there behind obviously these trees. Was doing a bit of painting on the sign. And obviously I can't remember if it was here last year, but you got the restrictions board there. I can't quite show you much on it. Obviously it is open it does say on the queue time board here, which looks amazing. It's opening on the 21st this month, which I should be here on opening day. We've got main entrance through there, as I talked about before with the old Slam queue. Obviously a bit of extension entrance here. Fast track through down there. I, I, go, I think they're gonna do more cattle pen here, queue line for it, so it's more well managed. There's not much really to update on it, obviously, Slammer's still just sitting there, which I'm annoyed now. I know a lot of other people were. Yeah, I am. But it will get, it will make the queues be a bit shorter elsewhere around the park. Like, losses might be a bit shorter when it opens. But it's just an amazing sign. We did get our first look inside of it, like one clip, pic, quick picture of it. But it wasn't much. It didn't look much. It's not the biggest of buildings from here. But when you look at it through the Colossus queue, it's quite a big building. Mm -hmm. 
so after having an amazing ride with Rocket Express, there was no queue. No one in the queue, I was the only one on the ride, so four, mi four miles I've gone in it. Very nice. Very nice, had a nice long cycle, it was amazing. Obviously I'm back here by Freak Free. I do have strong hopes for its opening this year, because of all restrictions easing soon. I have strong hopes for Creek Free to open. I only just realised if I can if you can see the Creek Wood sawmill, you can see the date. I only really if you saw the date, uh, oh well, the Creek Wood sawmill, it's a little tribute to Logger's Leap, but say 1989, because that was the year that Logger's Leap opened and obviously Creek Freak takes place in the Logger's Leap um, station and takes up the queue line obviously replacing log sleep it did and then as i said the plaque was hidden up last time the plaque for diana is back obviously it says diana princess of rare dedicated in front of me by the foot park team september 1997 amazing i wonder if there's anything i can see over any construction for friday nights I didn't see, but if you saw anything, ooh, construction. Obviously the nice flowers are back. More than this time, more nice flowers here. I always like coming to Loggers area. It's just so nice, so peaceful, so quiet, compared to the rest of the park. It is. Let's go have another look around that platform. It could return. It could have been the last year for platform. They've, oh my gosh, there's actually been a bit. They've completely covered, this was open, so I could actually see through there last time I was here. This looks like it's been raised, I can't remember, I need to check. Anything I can see? Oh, not much. I'm trying to keep it hidden for the 20th year. Something is something big coming to platform 15 for the 20th year of Friday nights. I could have just revealed something amazing here of something happening in this area. I I was, I was, said I was going to show you a bit more Black Mirror, but I'm not going to yet. I'm going to try and go to another ride. Maybe Rumble Rapids. Classic. So I'm going on Rumble Rapids now. No queue, it says 15 minutes, but it's not. It looks amazing, as always. Love ride, remember. Inferno Lone back on 15 minute queue. Alright. I'll show you some off ride footage of Rumba, I think. So, obviously, we have the old railway track for Canada Creek, which went round here in Old Town. They still got the track, they got it going round when it was on the short cycle just around the Old Town. It's nice, it's still here keeps a bit of the memory of it here. Obviously you've got the crossing bit here. These bits is where it would have been uh, level crossing almost. I'm looking at, at the entrance where platform 15 it was. See if there's anything I've got. No. So down there by Black Mirror, I'm actually going to zoom in for this. Oh they're not there, they just went. Sorry. Oh they're there. There's people going inside and outside of the Black Mirror entrance. Right here, let's go back to normal. And literally, you see them walking in the hope is there. Going in and out of the Black Mirror entrance. Looking like, they're literally looking like they're ready to go. I saw them doing a bit of painting earlier. I think I showed it. Colossus currently stuck on the lift hill. I wish I was on that ride. It'd be fun to be stuck on the lift hill. Be stuck on the ride would be nice, kind of. Obviously still doing work down there. It, it's very exciting just to see them doing work on a day I'm here. Obviously they'll be doing most of the work on the weekday, so they don't cause too much attention. They're going in and out of the building. Let's meet in that building of the Black, of Black Mirror. I want to experience that attraction. I'm gonna go over to Zodiac Rush, Flat Ride City basically. To do that, cost is obviously down. Getting them down off the lift hill. I've let a very little hope that containment will return this year because it's too, I think, containment is a bit too tight to open, probably. Not quite, I don't think containment will come back. 
as a maze or upcharge maze this year. I hope the mazes aren't upcharged this year. It would be good. Because obviously it's just a shipping container, which is basically, it's an escape room shipping container horror theme of Highlights. So you can see a little bit inside. Oh, you can't really, but I can, of containment. And obviously a good thing about what they did with containment this, this year, I think they added it just this year, is they had a little key time board for the swarm. So you don't have to walk all the way down there and find out the swarm queue, which is currently five minutes apparently. So I'm gonna give it a ride. Yeah. So after having another amazing ride in the swarm, that's the third one today. I had a back row that time. I might not catch up with you in a while. I might, I might do a few more rides and I'll catch up with you and tell you what I've done. I've done so many today, about 12 already. It's only 12 o'clock. Yes. Don't know what I'm gonna do. I might get lunch. I might show you what I get for lunch. Maybe. Or I do a separate video showing you the whole, all the food outlets here at Fort Park. Ooh. Yeah. So just having another ride on Rumble Rapids. I am. Because there's no key. So just got my food from Burger King right here. Sitting in the um, tent by Zodiac. Food is very good. It is. Well, you tried a bit of it. Very good. All right, catch you where I am next. So we're now going on stealth again. The third final stealth, I think. All right. I will see yourself, I think. Yeah. I might just swarm after this, I don't know. Swarms are showing up. So you've just done two lap, two rides in a row of stealth because there's no cube and now there's a little bit of cube. So I come over to swarm when there's no cube. So I should get a few rides in this. I've got so many rides into it. Right? So going back around for another ride on the swarm because there is literally no cube. It's literally zero minutes straight on walk on. So I might get, I might even get 10 rides in this today. Such a good ride. So after having a great three rides in a row on Swarm, just looking at some ducks here on the Swarm. Um, going over to Inferno, I believe now, and having a ride on Inferno, probably. It's nice that you always see ducks around in Fort Park or Orange Towers. There's one right there, to be, just above my finger here. That's a duck. There's another one just over there in the distance there. Quite nice to see for some reason. Also on the swarm I did see a swan, which I'm glad, I, I think you all want to know, there's a bit of a lake over there. It's very nice because some of the ducks and swans like coming over, swimming in the lakes here. Very nice to see them. Yeah, that's, that's Nature Watch with Theme Park Ben. So thank you so much for watching this video. I've been Ben, you've been watching Theme Park Ben, and bye.